Hello, and welcome to my channel Minute Learning, where I try and get a topic from my brain to yours in a matter of minutes. If you enjoy my content, then please like, comment, and subscribe, as it really helps me out. Thank you. Welcome to a new series on my channel called Craziest Crimes in History, where I take the most inventive, audacious, and impressive crimes and tell you how they were done. For the first episode, we are looking at Anthony Curcio, responsible for the infamous 2008 Brinks robbery. Before we take a look at the robbery itself, let's take a look into Curcio's past and what pushed him to commit the crime. Curcio, whilst at the University of Idaho, played football and looked to have a promising career in the sport until he injured his anterior cruciate ligament in training and had to go to hospital. This was where he was prescribed Vicodin, a powerfully addictive painkiller. This sparked a dependence that eventually resulted in Curcio's family telling him to get clean and pressuring him to go to a drug clinic. He did, however, after some failed financial ventures, Curcio relapsed and started forging prescriptions on a computer to get more of the drugs. Eventually, his addiction to drugs was costing him nearly $15,000 a month and he needed more cash, which leads us to the 2008 Brinks robbery. For three months, Curcio examined every movement of a Brinks armoured car that made deliveries to a Bank of America branch in Monroe. He noted the security cameras, blind spots of the car and the movements of the driver. Curcio then realised he would also need a quick form of escape, so he rigged an inner tube onto a cable pulley system in a local river that could transport him quickly upstream. The icing on the criminal cake, however, was Curcio's idea of using decoys to distract the police. So, a few days before the robbery, Curcio placed a Craigslist advertisement on the internet, wanting 15 to 20 workers for a construction job. It would pay $28.50 an hour, as long as they met up outside the bank and wore jeans, a blue shirt, work shoes and a yellow safety vest. On the 30th of September 2008, Curcio, dressed exactly the same as all of the unwitting decoys, Pepper sprayed the guard, ran off with two bags worth $400,000 combined, and escaped up the creek. The police arrived at the scene to find 20 suspects dressed in exactly the same way, and no way of knowing what the real one looked like. Curcio's luck ran out, however, after a homeless man spotted him acting suspiciously near the bank before the robbery occurred, and he wrote down the registration plate, which was insured in Curcio's name. The police eventually arrested him after DNA evidence was found in the scene, and it matched his. He was sentenced to 72 months in prison, but is now living a life free of crime and does public speaking warning against the dangers of drugs. He has also written a book about his life called Heist and High, so a positive end to a very crazy crime. Thank you for watching. Comment down below what you think of Curcio's crime, and I'll see you in the next video.